Greetings, one and all, and welcome to the Dark Rider Pony Analysis. I am the Nightmare Rider, Major Mind, reminding you, as always, that even a cheeseburger can be deconstructed to its original source. Rainbow Dash has been somewhat on and off with her depictions during Season 4 at this point. Not to the same extremes as Pinkie Pie's character representation, but still a general mixed bag. After the two episodes that have had Dash as the focused character so far, Daring Don't is good, if somewhat of a flawed episode, while Rainbow Falls is a contrived mess that didn't do my favourite pony any justice. In the episode, where she isn't the focus, Rainbow Dash has usually had some subtle moments of depth, like during Rarity Takes Manhattan and Pinkie Pride, but has otherwise been relegated to her basic character trait for the sake of dialogue, as in Maud Pie. Testing Testing 123 by Amy Keating Rogers has largely succeeded in giving us an episode to show the scope of Rainbow Dash's character, while still giving us a good moral that is incredibly realistic and important for children to learn. Rainbow Dash has focused all of her passion for the Wonderbolt on physical skills and athletic training alone, disregarding any historical knowledge of the origins of the organisation. While we have seen a shift towards a greater acceptance of more knowledge-based enthusiasm in episodes like Rosie Takes Me in Hatton and Weave It in Weep, she isn't completely devoid of her ego that dismisses many of these intellectual-based skills. The way this episode is set up, it initially looked like it would be a similar conflict to the classic Simpsons episode, Bart Gets an F, but the focus is more on finding a correct learning style for Rainbow Dash, as opposed to being simply about the reality of underachieving despite one's efforts. Each of the main five show her a different method of learning that they view as to be favourable, with each one subsequently being less effective for Rainbow Dash, leaving her to feel that she is stupid. I'm sure everyone is now aware of the famous Albert Einstein quote, Everyone is a genius, but if you tell a fish to climb a tree, it will spend its whole life thinking it's an idiot. This is exactly what this episode is portraying. Once Rainbow Dash realises the importance of this written test, she feels like she's an idiot and won't be able to fulfil her dreams due to her lack of responsiveness to learning about the history of the Wonderbolts. This is something that I personally relate to, since I have dyspraxia and am a very visual learner. A lot of this I experienced in school, with my passion for dinosaurs allowing me to talk endlessly about what I learned from museums, magazines and TV documentaries, but always struggling with the written text methods as done in classrooms. The main five are all depicted well in how they show the different learning styles put into practice, with each one for the most part of being made to fit their individual characters. Twilight's method is through traditional informational means, using lectures, flashcards and other written information to learn this history. Fluttershy represents a visual learning style, retaining information through remembering scenes in history as depicted through a stage play. Pinkie Pie, with her hilariously out of place rap scene, which I will talk about in a while, represents auditory learning through songs, rhythm and music. Rarity learns in a similar visual fashion to Fluttershy, although more so relating the costumes and clothing of the era to each individual figure from history. History. And Applejack learns through methods of apprenticeship, learning as she goes along by doing the actions herself. However, during these depicted methods, it starts to show a key flaw in the episode. Firstly, the dialogue feels needlessly excessive, constantly narrating about what each pony is doing over and over to learn this information. While it is lampshaded at first, the amount of unnecessary exposition just gets distracting after a while. It doesn't bother me as much during this episode like it did in Power Ponies, because the actions are shown plenty of times, aside from just telling. But since we do see what's going on, there isn't a need to keep narrating each learning style repeatedly. The other problem I had was that Applejack felt completely wasted in this episode. She isn't in it for very long, but she pretty much states right away that her method of learning would be completely useless to Rainbow Dash in this time frame, and just keeps going on about Apple's some reason. It just slows down the pacing more, which already feels a bit clunky with how long we spent on Twilight's method of learning, abridging the others more and more. Pinky's rap scene seems to be dividing quality amongst my fellow analysts. Some found Pinky's rap to be amusing, while others found it to be awkward and out of place. I can honestly see both sides of the argument here. There was a clear amount of effort put into the scene to make it look like a 90s rap music video. From the brightly coloured angular background shapes, the baggy clothing with chain jewellery, even the aspect ratio and video quality was changed to make it look like it was recorded on VHS tape. Honestly, non sequitur style of humour is something I really love. The scene reminds me quite a bit of Kamen Rider Den O, when Ryotaros possesses Ryotaro to suddenly spawn a random crew of breakdancers seemingly out of nowhere. <laughs>
しかった龍太郎もしかして姉さんのこと The whole point of the scene was to be random and out of place, being so distinct that sticks in your mind like glue. In fact, it appeals to my visual learning style more than auditory, since I remember the scene more for its visuals than its lyrical content, unlike Dash herself. When we finally get to see the style of learning that Rainbow Dash is best at, that's when we get the real meat of the episode. We have great use of foreshadowing, showing a bird's eye view of the flight Rainbow Dash and Twilight are taking, giving us a good look at all the little background details, including a nice treat of one of the a few depictions of a mechanical flying machines in Equestria. Rainbow Dash is an expert flyer, not just through her ability to manoeuvre in the air, but also her outstanding spatial awareness and attention to detail. She is picking up on every little bit of detail subconsciously, always keeping an eye out for potential danger that would obstruct her flying. This actually shows a realistic depiction of another method of learning, learning through journeys and associating information through specific familiar locations. Since Dash is so used to retaining information on events that happen through these locations as she travels, her friends help her to use this to her advantage in learning an extensive history of the Wonderbolts through depicting scenarios along a familiar journey for her to pick up subconsciously. Overall, this episode of Handle the Subject is crucially important for kids to learn in a really good way. It showed a clear contrast between all of these methods, showing us how well it worked from the main five, all the while adding some perfectly placed bits of detailed animation that made me feel really involved in the story, as well as a great Great scene of Fluttershy being certain without going into full rant mode. Some of the exposition could have perhaps been used to show the main five trying to their different learning styles themselves to prove they are not just reciting the method of teaching, but what we got still worked on its own merits, in spite of the awkward pacing. I give Testing Testing 1, 2, 3 a final grade of an A-. Until the next review, this is the Nightmare Rider, Mage of Mind, riding out.